Hey guys, Mr. Red Frost here, and today what you're watching is an IMR impact gameplay. It was a nice high killing game on some TDM, and I've left the length onto it. I've, I've, I've let it. I haven't cut little bits of it out. Most of it's um, pretty long gameplay, so it's going to be a little bit longer of a video. So I hope you don't mind. I was trying something different. Um, just seems that people, um, from what it looks like. Uh, they don't stay around as long when I seem to cut it up a lot, so maybe uh, do you like those longer videos or do you like the shorter ones? Just let me know. Uh, obviously, with the Black Ops 3, I'll probably just have the, the whole video just so you can obviously get used to it and see it all, but for these sort of games, um, yeah, I might just leave them a little bit longer. Just it's a lot of kills. It was pretty pretty fast pace, and I was basically using one of my favorite guns at this point in time, and for me, uh, the IMR Impact, with that plus one damage it gets, it's only a green enlisted, but it is so, so good. There's there's another gun, I think it's called the Hushed, or the Hunter or something. It's it's I think it's the Hunter. It's got like plus two fire rate. Uh, this IMR and the and that Hunter are probably the two best ones, and then I'd say the IMR Ball Strike. I actually have the Royalty IMR, but honestly, it does not even compete against this weapon. This weapon is a four round burst, as you all know, and it kills very well um, me not using toughness i find when i use the hole puncher because it's only a three round burst and i get and i don't use toughness sometimes i get hit and that one bullet that i need a hit will miss whereas this one has another uh so say if this one misses you still got a few more bullets in the chamber and uh it seems to uh do very very well i notice especially on lag if you're lagging this gun is a lot better than the hole puncher and overall i just think this gun itself is the best burst rifle in the game so make sure you give it a go it's very very low recoil i seem to like to use uh, extended mags stock and quick draw uh that's basically what i use on most of my uh, assault rifle setups now I've, I've given away the foregrip i don't think foregrip's needed in any call of duty really there's only one gun on this game that maybe you should put a foregrip on it's probably the asm1 uh other than that uh there's really really no point using a foregrip so I thought I'd go for extender mags. Uh, debatable. Some people do like the foregrip, but honestly, with guns like this, and especially in Call of Duty, all the guns have no recoil, and it's sort of a shame because they make them really, really easy to use. And I wish in other CODs, especially like look at uh, Black Ops One and even M Dub Two. Oh, sorry. Some of those um guns they actually had a little bit of kick to them, whereas these last two CODs, like look at Ghosts. Ghosts and Adub are probably the biggest example. You can just sit there holding the trigger down and it has no penalty to it. And that's what sort of sucks. I wish guns actually took a little bit more skill to use. That's why I reckon the bell is very, very overrated. Like, I, like the bell's good and all, but honestly, I think it's just the ease of the weapon that makes it good. Like, I reckon by far the Insanity actually is the strongest assault rifle. But just because it's harder to use, I can see why people lean towards the Obsidian. But... I don't know. It's different. I, I'm just hoping Black Ops 3. Hopefully, some of those guns actually take a little bit more skill to use. There was actually a gameplay I watched the other day on a gun called the Razorback. And that gun, like, I don't know if you have been looking at any Black Ops 3 stuff, but that gun looks really nice. There was one of the pro players using it. Um, and he, he was a Spanish player. And, man, I tell you, far out, dude. Like, that gun, it reminded me of the Peacekeeper, so just keep in mind all these guns I'm naming and make sure to give them a go because if you've never used them or you're thinking about using them, definitely give them a try. Anything I saw to name in my videos is most of the time really, really overpowered or I'll just say it's a piece of shit. So IMR Impact, make sure you keep it, make sure you give it a go. Now, one quick topic I want to talk about is I just downloaded a game. It was a uh, good old childhood memory. It's called Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. I might actually post a few games on it. So I hope you don't mind. I know it's a little bit kiddish, but to me, I like games. I like card games. Like, I like playing Hearthstone and, and shit like that. But this game, it was just bringing back some childhood memories. And I thought, you know what? Fuck it. It's 30 bucks on the PlayStation Store. So if you do see a video of that, um, I'd be advised not to do any hate on it. Because it's just me. You know, it's my hobby. I just like posting stuff I like. And... If you don't like it, just let me know, but don't be a prick about it. Because uh, might do like a pack opening or something. We'll see. It's it, it looks like a cool game, so I'll let you know um, how it all goes and and all that sort of stuff. I just like it because like it's got all the different types of Yu-Gi-Ohs in it, and I just thought it was pretty fucking cool to be honest. Like 
30 bucks, can't complain, it's only 2 gig to download, so if you haven't seen it and you're into Yu-Gi-Oh, I'm just letting you know, just down, get it now while you can, 60% off, so I thought, fuck it, mine as well. Also, it's pretty cool, now that we're talking about PlayStation stuff, um, in the store now, you get to vote every month for what game you want for free because they always have three games that you can choose from so now you'll be able to vote which one you want and then um yeah every month uh the highest voted one will be the new playstation plus game for the month so i thought that was pretty good too but that's what they're implementing very very soon but i hope you enjoyed the gameplay it's wrapping up now please love chub share comments on the and i'll catch you later have a good day well done,